If you've ever had conversations with a Christian, you've also encountered a phenomenon called Christianese. Words or phrases that contain hidden messages, often opposite of what the word actually means, or are completely ridiculous. To help you navigate the gauntlet of pompous platitudes, stuffy stereotypes, and bombastic BS, we humbly present another exciting edition of Understanding Christianese. Number one. I'll pray for you. There are two possible meanings here. For the afflicted, it translates, if I truly cared, I'd offer immediate physical, emotional, or monetary assistance. But I'm much too busy to offer any real compassion. Now, go away. You bother me. As a rebuttal to an argument, it translates, you're dead wrong. Repent, ignorant fool. Number two. Lord, please bless this food to the nourishment of our bodies and our bodies to your service. A common prayer at the dinner table. Indeed, Lord, please bless our food, whatever that means. And now that men have already done all the growing, harvesting, and actual providing. A side note, men also printed the ingredients and nutritional information on the store packaging. So the amount of uh, nourishment has already been quantified in advance. Why Jesus' help is requested here is unclear. Number three. Lord, if it be your will. This prayer is pretty pointless. If it was the will of an omnipotent God, wouldn't it be a foregone conclusion? Mostly, it seems to be the theist's way of saying, shit happens. Number four. Hate the sin, but love the sinner. Roughly translated, it means just keep those homos, lesbos, hippies, liberals, druggies, boozers, hookers, philanderers, criminals, gamblers, and dirty poor people at a safe distance, and especially out of our church. Join us again next time for another educational look at the complex and exciting code the church has used to communicate for thousands of years, understanding Christianese.